Hey Howard, it's that time of year again to vote for your next student leaders. This year we have two slates running for president and vice presidential positions. Our platform covers five main points. Academic renewal, technological advancement, campus safety, sustainability, the student experience, and then also we think it's important to keep a national perspective on the issues. So we have a national agenda that covers the 1965 Voting Rights Act and then gun violence that affects our community. And we think that um, our platform is unique because it not only encompasses what me and Layton think, but it encompasses what all students thought and want to see in the platform. I think that it's extremely important looking at the longevity of Howard University, looking at, you know, making sure that the buildings and the structures on campus not only are physically appeasing, but actually work and function the way that students need them to work and function. Renovating Blackburn, making it 24 hours, um, making sure that the residence halls are up to par where they need to be. Spotlight just introduced you to both the presidential and vice presidential candidates. Now let's meet the undergraduate trustee candidates. I currently sit on the IFAC committee, which is the Independent Fund and Appropriations Committee. And right now, a lot of students, they have outstanding balances and they get a surprise grant or loan from the university. And I'm one of the people who are behind that grant and those loans. And I had the opportunity to see how many students had an outstanding balance and actually couldn't afford to come to the university. So by seeing all the issues that Howard had, I realized that a change needed to happen. Like I go back to my community and ask for students to come here because I believe in Howard that much to convince somebody else to go here. I love Howard. And that's what it boils down to for me is I just love Howard too much to watch it fail, to watch it go into the pits. I love the school, I love my experience, and I want to give that to the students. I, you know, served in the Senate. I have not served in USDA. I have been blessed to bring an organization to campus and be the president of that organization. But I'm not into that, I guess, clique or that crew that, you know, they say that who's who. I'm not that who's who. I'm the person who people want to know who he is, um, thank God. But I want people to vote for me because I reflect who they are. That's the ultimate reason. Remember to log into Bison Web on February 28th to vote for your favorite candidate. Leadership that is authentic and genuinely cares about making progress for this university, but then at the same time has a track record of making those changes that they want to talk about. Don't get distracted by buttons and shirts and all that. Listen to what the person really wants to accomplish for you. Make sure that they have your best interests at heart. Make sure you guys vote on February 28th. I'm not telling people to vote for me. I'm telling people to vote for who they trust the most, who they know will get the job done. Put their vote in the candidates who they really believe in, um, candidates who understand higher education, candidates who really have a mission and a vision, um, and love Howard just like Danielle and I. If not now, then when? If not who, then at It's time.